The most volatile thing in cryptocurrency is futures trading. The derivative platforms are scary sometimes. You can make a million, you can lose a million in the course of the blink of an eye. So today, I'm going to show you a little bit of futures trading. We're actually going to go all in on something, and I'm going to do it right now. I want to show you guys, before we unpack this, uh, if you would, hit the like button, the subscribe button, the bell to be notified of of, of future videos. And remember, this is sponsored by Fairdesk, where we're going to be doing the trading right now. So I'm going to show you what we're doing. We are trading Solana, full disclosure, and I'm going to show you where my entry point is and why. All right, guys, here is the Solana chart right now, currently trading at 177.46. Now, you see the dip that came down here before. Uh, we did not, uh, after this blow off top here, we had a nice little retracement, and now we're having that bounce back. But the thing about this bounce back to me is that we've reached an area where if I show you this horizontal ray here, it'll make more sense to you. We've got this chop right here. We've got this action that happened right here. We've got this bounce area that happened right here. Broke through during some of that downward momentum, but the test area was right there and right there and right there. And here we are again, testing this area. So for me, this is the area in which I'm gonna wanna enter a position. So what we're gonna do, is we're going to do two things. Uh, we're going to look at this lower range right here at 170. I'm going to go ahead and enter this position right now with a 50% buy order in this position, 177.58. We're doing an open order right now. So we're in. Now, um, I'm doing this with 10x uh, uh, leverage. So what I'm going to look for right now is I'm going to look for confirmation that this is a good decision. We're going to watch the chart for a little while, kind of look at it and see if it, it starts to move in the upward, uh, in an upward direction. Now, if it does do that, then we're going to just kind of let that ride and we'll make another selection. But if it doesn't, then what I want to do is I want to set an entry position here for another buy at a lower price differential. Now, my liquidation price on this, as you can see right here, is 144 142 which comes down here I, and look i don't know that it, it, we won't dip down here into this 142 range i don't know that that's the case it looks like we've moved beyond it but you never know in this market right so uh we're gonna take this as an opportunity to enter that position we're gonna leave that position kind of live right now uh, i do think that we got another run we're probably gonna be testing the all-time high and look, it is entirely possible that Solana ends up $1,000. Uh, if it ends up at $1,000 right now, we have basically a 10x position at $150, I want to say. And if that's the case, then we're basically at $1,500. Uh, so if it, you know, 5x is $7,500, something like that, it's, it's going to be a very good play, very, very intriguing sort of play. So uh, I do think that there's some serious possibility here. Uh, but let's get back to it. So... We are seeing positive momentum. We're seeing positive momentum in the marketplace, generally speaking, right now. We are going into the halving, so there might be some muted response. There might be some downside momentum that we are still going to experience. We may not be out of the woods yet, but now I want to look at what's my exit strategy going to look like. And if you guys uh, humor me here, there's there's a lot of resistance and and. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of show you the range here and we'll zoom in just a little bit so you can see it. But you can see there's a kind of a spot right here where there's a lot of uh, this was we bounced off of that. We bounced off of it multiple times, bounced off of it, bounced off of it. This is going to be our next floor level at 188.90. So uh, we're going to do a partial uh, take profit, see what that looks like. And the trigger price is going to be, I forgot the number already, 188.98. So at 188.98. If we exit, we'll be exiting here with 50% of the bag, if you will. And if we do that, that's going to be a profit of about $46, which is going to leave us, um, which is going to leave us with about same, if you will, in there. So that is certainly an opportune moment for us to kind of scale out. Um, I think what I want to do, however, is I'm going to reduce this down just a little bit. We're going to put this at the 25 level. Uh, at 188.98, we're going to scale out 25%. So we're going to go ahead and confirm that. So now we've entered a partial uh, take profit. So we're, we're taking 25% out once we get to that position. Now we're looking for the next position. Where do we want to scale out as well? 
Uh, so we're going to look at this one. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to kind of look at where we get these uh, resistance spots, which another one comes up right there at 195.97. So then we're going to take this same thing and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to scale out at 195.97 and we're going to scale out another 25% at that point. And there we will have it. And this profit margin, it will not get us our entire investment back, but it's going to be pretty close. So we're going to confirm. So now we've got two uh, partial take profits right now. This is going to keep us in the game. It's going to make sure that we're we're getting some, some bang for our buck, if you will. Uh, and we're getting some of that money back. And then we're going to go to the top up here. And we're going to bang that top right there at 210.19. We're going to do another partial take profit at that point. And we're going to do that one for 210.19. 11. And once we do that, we're going to take another 25% out. We're going to leave the rest in. We're going to let the rest ride, uh, assuming that we're going to be good right there. And then bang, we're going to do that. So this will allow us to scale out. Uh, the scale out will actually, in fact, get us our money back plus a profit of around 100%. And then from that profit of 100%, if this plays out the way I anticipate, we will still have a bag of Solana. We will still have profit and we will still be in a good position overall. So let me know what you think of this scaling out strategy. Again, uh, there's a link down below for you to sign up at Fairdesk. Go ahead and give them a shot. You know, take the take this opportunity. Uh, there are some nice rewards if you sign up. I believe they give you $50 in futures bonuses for you to try your luck at it. Uh, and if you just want to do some, some, some basic spot trading, it's also a great place to, to do some spot trading. And uh, you can as well do some copy trading. So if you are interested in that, then you can also go there and check out what I've got going on. In fact, if you haven't already, let me show you my uh, copy trade right now on Fairdesk. All right, guys, as you can see right here, it's very small. However, uh, I put up 35 conflux uh, and I'm up 200% as we speak right now. It's only $4. I only put, uh, I only put a, a few bucks into this. Uh, so I'm actually, you know, I put $2 in. Uh, I'm up $4 right now. Uh, because I'd gotten liquidated from this previously on a, uh, a on a big rip. So I'm letting Conflux kind of ride right now, if you will. And it's a very small move. It's only a 5X, but it's up 200%. Guys, I can't stress enough that it's a matter. I got in way, way, way down here. Uh, this will never make money. It's not a money maker. It's not a, a move. This was just me um, taking an opportunity to get some, uh, to get a return on this. So we're 200% right now. So uh, what do we want to do? You know, if you want to trade and you want to do some copy trading, this is what I do. If you follow me there, you're up 200% right now. I mean, if you don't, you don't, but uh, certainly some opportunities. So go sign up to Fairdesk now. Uh, give it an opportunity. Uh, use whatever platform you want. The, the, the platforms that are available are in the description down below. You can choose amongst them, but this is brought to you by Fairdesk. Uh, but if you want to use MEXC or you want to use Weeks, you want to use any one of those other ones, by all means, go ahead. Um, but let me know what you think of that Solana trade and, uh, how do you think it's going to do? It's not financial advice, but I'm always